hey guys welcome back to a brand new video or if you're new hi welcome so in today's video i am doing another anime and manga collective haul so for my first package i got a cd japan package and it's like so weirdly shaped as you can see it's like really long and rectangular this is probably the first time i've had a package like this for something like manga and such so yeah but i think i do know why it's shaped like this and i'm so 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 excited to show you guys what i got so let's open it up okay so as you can see there is a reason why it came like this but i'm so excited okay let's take it all out okay so i think we'll start with the one manga before i get into something very exciting for me so First off, I got one manga and oh, I'm so excited. Oh my god. So I got Yona of the Dawn Volume 35 and the reason why I got it is that it is one of the special editions and I didn't think this would come back in stock. I saw that it was on back order, so I decided to purchase it, thinking that, oh, they may cancel it, they may not fulfill it, but surprisingly, it was. I think even though it did take a few weeks, I got it. I actually got it, and I would love to get all the special editions of Yona that came with, like, extra, like, booklets and such. However, even just having one is enough for me. I'm just so happy that I got this new and I didn't have to go to like a proxy or get it used from a different um, secondhand site. Let's unwrap this. So, first of all, we just got the usual volume. I actually ha am not caught up to collecting Yona, so this is technically like a new volume for me since I only have like 1 to like 11. I'm missing volume 7 still, but yeah. Oh, this cover is so cute though, I love it. And then, oh my god. Yona looks so cute. Oh my gosh. She's so cute. I love her so much. <gasps> oh, okay. Oh, he is too fine. Oh. Oh my gosh. They're so cute. I cannot. Yona is so pretty. And then here's like an extra story. I think it's them. It looks like high school, maybe. I wish I could read this. I'll probably have to do like a Google Translate or something because I just want to get like the gist of what is happening. Oh, oh my gosh. He is so fine. Oh, they're all so cute. I love it. It's like a modern universe. Ah! Oh, he's so fine in every outfit he wears. Oh my gosh. I love the way the characters are drawn. Oh, they're so cute. I cannot. I cannot. Oh my gosh. Oh, just wow. I love the art so much. I'm so happy. It's such like a cute addition to have in my collection and I'm hoping that maybe the other special editions 
will go on like back order or come back in stock i highly doubt it but you know there's a little hope inside me now that i have this but yeah that is what i got manga wise okay moving on to these oh my gosh okay so i am a huge fan of project sekai i've been really into the game for quite a while i would say i would say when the english um version first came out i got the game maybe a few days after it was out simply because i just saw a tiktok of it i'm like oh it has like vocaloid songs i really want to play it and yeah i got obsessed and then i ended up just falling in love with all the other characters and such and here we are i finally have some proper merch of this game so i was looking at the yono volume and then i saw they had these for pre-order and i was like i should get it because i wanted to get something a little extra so the shipping didn't seem as bad because cds japan shipping is a lot so i wanted to just add something more so that i could like justify myself getting it if you know what i mean but yeah so since that one was on back order the manga and um one of the cds was on pre-order it took a while for these to come but i'm so happy that it's finally here So since I did pre-order one and the other one just recently came out, I got like the first print bonus and then the like pre-order bonus. So I'm so excited. So I got both of my favorite groups, which is More More Jump and Leonid. Leonid? I'm pretty sure that's how you say it, but these two are my favorite groups. And then I think these are like prints photo cards. Oh yeah, so it's like a little extra card of each one. That is so cute and I love the art for both of these. Oh, so if you guys didn't know, my favourite like character is Haruka. She is my favourite. I love her so, so much. But I also really like Saki. She's also one of my favourites. So yeah, but these two groups in general are my favourites. Oh my gosh, I never thought I would get back into like buying CDs and such because I used to collect K-pop albums, but here we are. So let's open these up. I would like to put these on display. So maybe when I get more <laughs> Project Sekai merch, I could have a dedicated shelf because they do have some like other CDs and albums that I would like to get in the future. I know they have one full album for like each group so I would like to get those these are just um cds that come with like I think like two songs so I'll show you guys this one first so it's just a simple like I think you call it like a jewel case oh my gosh okay it's very reflective but Here is the CD. Ooh, I'm trying to show it without showing too much, but yeah. And the inside is actually really cute. And then I think this is like the lyrics. Oh, and it comes, I, ooh, I don't know what this is. Oh, it's like a card. Oh yeah, because I know there is like some like card thing for Project Sakai and it has like characters and such. I don't collect it, but that is cool. And then, oh, I got um Ma Mako. I think you could get like any of them. I would have loved if it was Haruka, but sh I love Mako as well. She's really cute. So yeah. Uh, is it lyrics? Is it credits? I don't know. But yeah, that is so cool. And I got two of these. And the CD. So 
so yeah, that is the first CD. Next up, we have Leonid. This has, I know it has from Tokyo, the song, and I think it's Media Pulse. I think. I have no idea. Because those two songs recently got added on Spotify, and I remember putting it on, in my playlist. Like, the art is definitely from Tokyo, but I'm not sure what the other song is. So yeah, it's got the same thing. Oh, I love the like pastel rainbow. Oh, the DVD is like an umbrella. And it's like the rain that is so cool. And then we have the book and I, does this come with cards? I'm not sure. Oh yeah, okay. We'll see who I got. <gasps> oh my! Oh my gosh, I gosh. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay. So I didn't get her a card, but I got her. So you know what? That makes up for everything because she is so cute. And it also came with the card. That is so cute. I look how cute she is in the photo. I cannot I love her so much. I love her character. I hate how miscategorized she is, honestly. But she's so cute and oh, i love her voice as well her voice is definitely my favorite um alongside harpers i would say in the game so yeah and then of course we got the posters so i'm pretty sure the posters just like enlarge an art of these but you know i love putting stuff on display in my room so Always happy to have some more posters. So this is the Leonid one. Leonid. Oh, I need some tape. Okay, I'm really scared. I don't want to like accidentally cut this. really folded obviously oh my gosh oh this is so cool okay it's really big so i don't think i can fit it all on the camera but practically i'll definitely have to like flatten it it's just like an enlarged version but it has like it kind of looks like a movie like as you can see so cool oh my gosh yeah that is so cool i'll definitely have to flatten this before i put it up so let me just clear this up oh my gosh i cannot wait to see more and more jumps on because i find it so cool they're like movie sort of posters because it has the whole like coming out thing Okay. So, ooh, this one's also so pretty, and it has Haruka front and center, of course, as she should be. But yeah, that's practically what it looks like. That is everything I got. I feel like I went on a bit of a tangent, but I love Project Sakai and this will probably, I think this is like my first official merch from them and I'm hoping to one day create a little dedicated area for it because I love Project Sakai. I've still been playing the game, you know, and I'm so happy to finally have some CDs of my favorite groups as well. So yeah. Oh, there's a little bit of rubbish you can see. <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in the next clip. Bye!
Hey guys, welcome back to another clip. So today I have one Amazon package and before I open this, I just want to say from the filming of the previous clip, was, which I would say was around like January to now in February, I have reached 1000 subscribers and I just want to thank you guys so, so, so much. I did not think I would be able to get this far, honestly. I just started this as a hobby and as a way to talk about manga and stuff. So the fact there's 1,000 people who enjoy my content enough to subscribe, I am honestly so, so, so grateful. And it's kind of weird for me to do the thanking like in the middle of the video, but just thank you guys so, so, so much. And I hope that I can continue doing this for as long as I can. So yeah, just thank you guys so much. So yeah, I have one package. I did a little bit of a shopping spree because I just started school again and I need a break because <sighs> so, so much work since I'm getting to the final years of my school and that's very scary. But yeah, let's open this up. Okay, so I think I'm going to pull them out one by one. So, first off, from what I can see, I have Nana Volume 7. So, I'm just picking up the reprints of this series. But I will not be reading this until I watch the anime. So, after I watch the anime, I will read the manga. I know this is a very highly acclaimed shoujo manga and as you guys know, I love shoujo manga. So, of course, I'm gonna want to read like one of, probably one of the most like popular shoujo manga um, in like the shoujo beat line, I would say. Um, or just in general, honestly, it's a very like popular manga and an anime and I really hope I do enjoy it as much as other people. I heard it's very like lots of drama and such and honestly I love that kind of stuff so I'm very excited. Unfortunately it is taking me quite a while to watch the anime not because it's boring I actually have enjoyed the episodes I have watched is just personally me my attention span i struggle watching anime um right now i'm more of just i'll read the manga but i really do want to watch the anime for this series before reading the manga because i know that if i read the manga i'm not going to want to watch the anime um whereas other way around i can watch the anime and read the manga but if i read the manga first the likelihood of me re watching the anime like goes down drastically so yeah this is one i definitely just want to watch the anime f for first but yeah just collecting the reprints and it's actually like not the italy and um is the us print which is actually pretty nice because i like how thick the volume is so yeah Okay, next one is another reprint. Uh, actually, I don't think this volume is a reprint, but volume 10 of Dawn of the Arcana. So recently, all of the volumes of Dawn of the Arcana came back in stock. So I finally picked up the remaining volumes I had. However, um, I think this is one that I've talked about quite a bit and how I didn't enjoy it as much as I was hoping to. But I think that's just because my expectations were completely different, where I was expecting more romance. This definitely focuses more on the politics and the romance is more on the side and isn't as well developed as I would say The King's Beast, which I definitely think is like the other way around where I think the romance is really nice. But the plot, like I say in the later volumes, the plot definitely develops more. But in the earlier, you definitely get more of the romance rather than the plot. So yeah, I I read like volumes 1 to 8 like two years ago or something like just a really long time so i think i'm gonna just when i get the rest because spoiler alert i did get the rest of the volumes as they finally got reprinted especially volume 13 i never thought that volume was ever going to get reprinted i'm even surprised this series got reprinted because i don't know how popular this is so i was worried this is once shoujo b was just like 
gonna put on the back burner and just like not reprint so i'm glad they did so i can have it completed and i can now just i'm gonna read 1 to 13 um in its entirety and I think that's definitely better because now I'm going to have different expectations. So I'm hoping I'll enjoy it more the second time around. If not, um, I do actually enjoy the politics and the political side of it rather than the romance. So it's not a series I hate hate. It's just the expectations were different. I really hope I do end up enjoying this because I love The King's Beast. So I do want to enjoy this just because you know it's set in the same world same mangaka i really love the king's beast so i'm hoping that maybe my second chance will um i'll enjoy it more it's actually um quite yellowed i just noticed so this is like you can definitely tell this is like an older volume um Yellowing doesn't bother me, but it's kind of annoying that like I bought this new and um, this is the new condition. I, yeah, so I don't know how long this has been in like the warehouse or whatever because it is um quite yellowed. Jeez, I think even like my oldest um, volumes are like this shade of yellow. <laughs> so yeah, um, okay. And then, continuing on the Nana train, I got volume 6. So, I think a lot of the volumes did get reprinted, so a lot of them were um, in stock. So, I just like, let me pick them up before they go out of stock. So glad that this one got um, reprinted because even before I really wanted to read it, I think I've said this, I... I think I said this like when I showed volume 7, but yeah. Um, unfortunately, it's a little bit uh, scuffed up as you can see. Uh, yeah, but uh, what can you really do, honestly? Oh, that is, wait, that is so pretty. Oh my gosh. super happy to get this volume and i cannot wait to get all the volumes and then see how they all connect because all the volumes um when you put them together it tells a story of the two nanas going on a little date you could say so oh, that seems so cute so i cannot wait until i get all the volumes here is the next Nana volume. I think this is the last one in the package, but it is volume three. So now I'm just missing volume five. And spoiler alert, I did also order that. Order that. I'm pretty sure it's just I ordered it from Amazon US. So that's going to take a bit longer than from Australia. But yeah. And then after this, I will have a full um clean run of one two seven yeah just checking the condition but looks pretty good and i like how they're all you know not the italy because i do think they it looks nicer when it's like thicker in my personal opinion but obviously i'm not gonna like do a refund or anything hoping to get the u.s if it's italy like like it, the content is still the same so it's not a big big deal for me but it's always nice to get like the u.s print and then the next dawn of the arcana volume is volume 12 this is another one that i'm pretty sure was just in stock um regularly it was volume 9 no volume oh wait what yeah it was like Oh, what volume was that in stock? It was, yeah, volume 9, 11, and 13 that were out of stock. They came back in stock, so that's when I picked them all up. So these were just, like, readily available, but I hate um, buying um, volumes out of order. And I only do it for a series I know are getting reprinted. So, like, you know, I didn't mind getting, like, out of order because I knew they were all coming back in stock. 
Dawn and the Arcana, I was really unsure whether this was going to come back in stock. So I didn't want to have like volume 10 and 12 and then like the chance of the other volumes just never getting reprinted because I wasn't going to go hunt for these because I don't enjoy the series that much to be willing to pay like a, a ridiculous amount. So yeah, I'm just glad that they did get reprinted. Ooh very interested to see what happens honestly just flipping through this volume <laughs> and then oh i'm so okay so i'm so excited speaking of yona i got some more of the reprints and unfortunately it's the italy so quite thin but i'm so happy so spoiler um i keep on saying spoiler but yeah um a lot of this video is just going to contain a lot of shoujo reprints because i do want to i want to catch up to yona by the end of the year that is my goal to just like catch up on um a lot of the series I currently own and to buy less like new series and just focus on the ones I already have so things like Haikyuu and stuff I want to complete this year I think I've said it every year that I want to complete Haikyuu and I just never I think I just need to like buy like a whole like um a lot of it in just one go and just you know get the rest of Haikyuu honestly so yeah but very happy to have volume 14 of yona with such a cute cover art is super pretty oh, i'm so excited and then the final oh i thought it was yona but the final volume is dawn of the arcana i i, I literally thought this was a yona volume but um apparently it wasn't and this is one of the out of stock um volumes but it came back and it's the us which is really nice i do hear um people compare dawn of the arcana and yon of the dawn to each other alongside snow white with the red hair people say that's like the trio of like red hair um shoujo series dawn of the arcana is definitely the weakest one in my opinion um I really love Snow White with the red hair and Yona, so honestly, either are like number one for me because Snow White with the red hair, fun fact, was the anime that got me into anime, so I definitely want to pick up the manga eventually, but as I just said, I want to get, um, I want to finish collecting all my completed series that I just haven't yet completed or catch up with my ongoing series, so yeah. But uh, I'm so happy to have one of the out of stock volumes. Ugh, this one was out of stock for so, so, so long. So, yeah, super happy. So, yeah, that was everything in the Amazon package. It was um, not in the best since it was like in a mailer with like, I think this was like, uh, like around seven or eight volumes just in that one thing. Um, there were some minor scuffs and damages, but thank goodness not that many. But yeah, that is the end of this clip, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye! Hey guys, welcome back to another clip. So today I have something a little bit different. I mean, as you can see, it is an army army package, and I think this is going to be the first army army package on this channel. Um, this is the first thing I had ever ordered on Ami Ami. I ordered it on the pre-owned section. So I'm so, so, so excited um, for this figure because yes, it is a figure. And it actually took a while. I ordered it like beginning of January or like in December. But because I chose Surface, it did take a little bit longer. Was it Surface or like AML? I forgot. But yeah it did take a while i was worried about shipping but surprisingly shipping was not that bad because the package is, as you can see it's quite small and it is quite a light but i'm so excited to show you guys the figure inside um i don't think i've ever talked about me ordering this figure this is not a part of my 
uh, pre-orders that I talked about in my previous video. This is just a completely um, different figure. It has been out for quite a while, but I never got the chance to get this figure. And I saw it for, I'm pretty sure it was like under retail on Ami Ami pre -order. So I'm like, okay, I think it is time for me to get it because I've been wanting it for so long. But yeah, I'm so excited. So let's open it up. And I, I was literally so excited to open it that the minute I got this, I just like got all the filming equipment and just um, started filming. So we have natural light this time rather than um, usually I'm filming at night. So it's like the lights from my room. So yeah, let's open this up. But oh my gosh, okay, this thing is annoying, but wait, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, so this is my first Ami Ami card, it's so pretty, I'm pretty sure this is the month for January because of the shrine theme, but that is so cute and more army army cards to come in the future with all my pre-orders honestly but oh my gosh okay then oh it's packaged so nicely but i think you can see what figure let's take her out oh my gosh she's so pretty Was very tightly in there which i really like but oh my gosh so as you can see it is a madoka magica figure it is the sayaka 1 8 scale uh i forgot by which company um, but it is the like kimono outfit and I just think it's so pretty oh my gosh this is my second scale figure <laughs> my first was the Kurugo and now this is the second I seem to be picking up characters with blue hair but she is my favorite character from the anime I love the anime I really enjoyed it it was in my um, top 10 when I first started watching anime obviously that list has changed but I love love this anime and I love her I would definitely love to get um, the other figures and especially her girlfriend <laughs> uh, girlfriend obviously not canon but you know I'm gonna call them girlfriends but yeah oh my gosh So just showing you guys the box and here is the art oh my gosh I cannot wait to open her she's honestly so pretty oh my gosh she's so so pretty I'm so happy I'm so happy to have her I would love to have the whole set um, eventually but for now I am quite happy with just her and here's like the top oh my gosh i'm so excited i just oh man i've been really getting into figures and oh, ami ami pre-owned is a scary section there's so many figures that are so close to buying but i'm like no i need to save but yeah she's like oh my gosh she looks so pretty i can't eat just made her Sorry, I don't think my camera's really putting this in focus, but I'm pretty sure pre-owned this was like AA. I think maybe the box was a little bit damaged, but I don't really see any in the bottom line. Um, I have to check the condition, but yeah, I remember she was under retail. Um, so I decided to get her. I think we're shipping. I think I only paid like 
I, I think I paid like ten dollars for shipping, well, like ten to twenty dollars for shipping, which is um really nice because I'm always worried about ordering from Japanese sites because we know that from Japan to Australia it is just ridiculous for some reason. I have no idea why, but yeah. Did I open this properly? Okay. Oh my gosh. I'm trying to be so careful because I just. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> That's all I can really say. I have like just no words, honestly. Oh, oh my gosh. And there's like a backdrop. Oh my gosh. And then the oh sorry. The instructions are taped there. But that is so cool. It's like a small backdrop. And then the instructions. And it's because you can pair her up with her girlfriend, as you can see. Um, so I definitely want to get her at least um, so that they can be matching. Matching figures are like my weakness, honestly. But yeah. Here is the hands. But I find it so cool that it's just like connected. Obviously, I can't really use this because I don't have the other figure, but like just this alone makes me want to get it. It's. There's something wet? Ah, I don't know why it's like. What? Uh, uh, yeah, I don't know if I should be touching that, but yeah. So pretty. I love the like wrinkles and the like interconnected hands. Oh, my weakness, interconnected hands on like figures and such. See some of this like, uh, some light tinges of blue. So pretty. Moving on to the actual figure. Okay. Oh my gosh. So she is unconnected, one of her arms, but let's just get the plastic off. So here is the figure she is so pretty oh my gosh i don't know for me like maybe because i just don't own many figures but this is considered a one eighth but it seems like pretty big to me um, I mean, I think mainly it's only because I have the Kuroko figure, but she's so pretty. I just love the design. You can see some shading on it, the hair. I think it's a little bit, like, I don't know if it catches, but, like, a little bit, like, dirty. But it's not, like, the noticeable area, so I don't mind because the rest looks, uh... There's a little bit of like scratches, like not scratches, but like a little bit of marks. But besides from that, it's so, so, so pretty. And I should probably show her with her arm connected. Don't want to accidentally break her. <laughs> I have so much anxiety right now. And then she has her little umbrella which oh and it has a little bit of like cushioning i like to call it oh, even the umbrella looks so cool look like it's in her hand holy
Okay, so this was the best I could do it without, like, I'm so scared. I'm just going to snap this. Um, it doesn't, like, from here, it doesn't look bad. However, um, it doesn't, like, if you look from above, it doesn't look like she's really holding it. But that's sort of the, like, gist of the figure. And it's so pretty. And then, of course, we have her base, which is so cool like a pavement with koi fish to match with her um, kimono so this is the figure she's so 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 pretty I love her so much um, however the more I look at her the more you see some like minor scuffs like on the head you see the like smile just like the middle is a little bit like um rubbed off but overall i think she's so pretty oh my gosh i am so happy to have her in my collection and for her to be the second scale in my collection oh my gosh um my anime figure his collection is just growing and I'm so happy. I definitely will um, fix the umbrella thing eventually. I have to probably see um, some videos to see how it's done without like, just like completely destroying the um, umbrella in the process. But thank you guys for watching this clip and I will see you guys in my next clip. Bye! Hey guys, welcome. So this is going to be the last clip for this collective haul. I do have some more packages coming in, but this video is already getting really long since I did already edit the rest of the video. So I just decided I'm going to conclude with this and the rest will be opened up in a different collective haul. So I'm so excited. So we have two packages, both from Amazon, but they were just shipped uh, at different times. So we're going to start off with the smaller one and then we'll get into the bigger one. So this one contains just one volume from the feel of it. Oh. Okay, so it is Dawn of the Arcana Volume 13. Um, as you can see, it's a little bit ripped, but I have this volume, which is honestly just crazy in general that this volume got reprinted. I'm so curious to see how it ends. But... I think I've said this before, but I just never thought I would even have this volume. I just, oh my gosh, it is a little bit, it's not exactly um, printed correctly, but that's okay. It's not exactly aligned and it's a little bit ripped because it's Amazon, but overall I'm just so happy to finally have this. Okay, so that was just the one volume from that package. Now we got this one. I do not know what that S or whatever means, but yeah, let's open this. Oh my gosh, do you see the packaging of this? Okay, I'm just going to pull them out one by one. So I think the first thing you saw was Nana Volume 5. I'm just kind of seeing the condition of these because that packaging was like horrendous. So it's like sort of like dented. Kind of annoying, but yeah. Oh. So now... I'm pretty sure I have the full set, do I? From 1 to 6, 7, I don't remember what I got, oh my gosh. But yeah, 
super happy to have another nano volume despite the interesting condition of it <laughs> so speaking of dawn of the arcana i did get volume nine. Oh my gosh i have volume nine guys so i can finally continue this because i literally got to volume eight i read it and i'm like oh okay let me see if i can get the rest volume nine was out of stock and i just was never able to get this volume for such a long time so i'm so excited to finally have it it's been such a long way honestly um seems all right the condition somewhat but you know what it's decent enough for me so yeah got volume nine and then the rest are some yona volumes i have three yona volumes i have 13 15 and 16 so as you can see i'm slowly getting the rest i'm still waiting for my volume seven but i'm so happy Oh my gosh, this is such a cute back cover. Volume 15. Seems like we're getting a new character introduced. So very excited for that. I'm honestly just so excited to see how this story continues because I heard the anime like barely covers like what the manga is at and i love the anime it's in my top 10 so i just i cannot wait oh my gosh oh yona i love her so yeah that is everything i got amazon once again shows that they just cannot package their manga um or just their books in general but Honestly, Amazon is like the cheapest place to get manga for me. So I just have to accept it. But yeah, um, this was purely just... Oh my gosh, wait. So yeah, this was just purely um, shoujo reprints for this haul. But I'm just so happy to finally have some more volumes to continue completing my collection of these series but yeah that is going to be it for this video i didn't really talk much about these volumes because i talked about them extensively throughout the rest of this video but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys next time bye